Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Ben Jordan K6, Scourge of the Sea People. Or are there sea people? Because this place seems kind of dead. Very odd. A medium-sized building resembling a temple stands here silently. It's a large and prominent structure with a golden trident sticking out of the roof. You assume this must be where the king lives. Well, oh. It's a small structure, probably not of much importance. Let's see if we can go there first. No, I guess not. Temple? Mm. Whoa. A skeleton is sitting in the... Oh, I think we went to the, the large building. The skeleton is sitting in the throne. It looks human, except for the strangely shaped hands and feet. Touching the skeleton might cause it to fall apart. A large seal depicting an octopus in an eight-pointed star design is painted on the floor. And what's with this? A strange mural is painted on the wall. Well, it looks like that's a rock. That's a piece of... Plant? Maybe this? Yeah. And something about a glowing stone in a skeleton's mouth? Maybe if we... Maybe if we wrap this... Yeah, okay, you wrap the glowing piece of seaweed around the rock. To your surprise, the rock seems to absorb the seaweed and begins glowing. Mm. So now maybe we could put it in the skeleton's mouth? Oh, but... I thought that would work! <laughs> I'm clicking. Oh, okay, I clicked on the throne, not the skeleton. Following the mural, you place the glowing rock inside the skeleton's mouth. So, you are the one our prophecy spoke of. I, I am? Yes, the one from the surface, with the hair like fire. Your arrival pleases me, for it means I may finally rest. Yet it also disturbs me, because it means that the monster has been unleashed. I'm sorry, I don't quite follow. I understand your confusion. I expect the Oracle told you to seek me out and kill me. Well, yeah, she did say that, actually. The Oracle knows as much about the Sea People as the rest of the surface dwellers. Allow me to tell you the truth about the situation. This isn't going to take too long, is it? I'm not sure how long this potion is going to last. I will keep it short. My people perished long ago. Like any ancient civilization, the world changed, and we did not see fit to change with it. We never took humans from the surface, as your legends claim. That was the work of a vicious monster who lived near our city. This monster is the last of the Forsites, and it was the sworn oath of our people to keep it at bay. Alas, there were times when the actions of the surface dwellers disturbed the monster, and we could do nothing to stop it from claiming victims. When our civilization began to crumble, we had subdued the beast, but we knew of a prophecy which said it would return someday. This prophecy has also said that a fair-haired surface dweller would seek out our king, wrongly believing the monster's cruel deeds to be those of the sea people. I was chosen to wait here until you found and revived me, so I could tell you the truth and arm you for the battle with the monster. Well, this is a lot to take in. But I believe you. What do I need to do? Ha! Uh -huh. Take this trident. Return to the surface and wait on the beach tonight. The monster will return for another victim. When it does, use the trident to slay it. Okay, I guess that shouldn't be too difficult. Go now, human. My thanks to you for allowing me to find rest. Good luck, and may you end the, the monster's infernal plague. Nice. I'm nice. gonna save here, because I don't really remember what happens. Uh, try it. Because things are getting near the end, and that seems kind of dangerous. An old and rusty looking trident is hanging in a previously hidden alcove. 
you take the trident and head back to the surface. So the sea people aren't responsible for all of this? Apparently not. It's the last of the First Ladies, some kind of monster. I thought the First Ladies were the sea people. I thought so too, but it seems they just got a bad rap. All those legends were attributed to the sea people, but they really meant the monster. Blimey, talk about a case of mistaken identity. So what now? The sea person said the monster would be returning tonight, which means we'll have to wait for it. Shall we go back to Agya Anna then? It is nearly sunset. Yeah, we're gonna have to an interesting night tonight. Oh, nice night for dream. killing monsters at last. Or at least. Did this sea person mention exactly when the monster was going to show up? No, I guess I should have asked so I could have synchronized my watch. I'm starting to get tired of waiting for this thing. I guess this is what Professor Sanborn meant when he said that 95% of paranormal investigating was sitting around waiting for something to happen. When did he say that? When we were talking to him on the beach yesterday, he also said... <gasps> no! No, not Simon! Simon, behind you! Holy... Simon! Ah! Save! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I like, I like just messing around when stuff like this happens. <laughs> no! I'm trying to look at the creature. Simon is currently fighting against it be against being choked to death by the monster. You'd better do something soon. What, I can't look at the creature? Alice looks slightly afraid. <laughs> Only slightly. Yeah. <laughs> this is no time for small talk. Simon is fighting for his life. Alice? What? <laughs> oh, Seriously? wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm not done yet. Confess Forget it. Confess, Confess your feelings. Your feelings. I'm gonna take him on. No! What the hell? You took you took Simon. Okay. Yeah, I know. But it doesn't let me touch the monster, Alice. What? Confess your feelings. Alice, I have to tell you something. Whatever it is can wait. Simon is in trouble. Seriously, mate. I know the situation's grim right now, but that can wait for later. Right, of course. <laughs> what should I do? You need to get that monster off of Simon so you can get a clear shot with the trident. Okay, um... You throw the trident! <laughs> Alice, hold the trident. I'm going to get that monster off of Simon. <laughs> Once I do that, I need you to throw it at the monster. I don't think that's such a good idea. I've got a terrible aim. Fine. Alice, I need you to get the monster's attention so I can get a clear shot with that trident. Otherwise, I'm likely to hit Simon if I throw it now. Okay, just but just making sure you hit it before it gets to me. Hey, Greeny! <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to you. Leave my friend alone. Uh You did it, Alice. Now get behind me. Oh my god, can I do stuff now? There's two. Okay. Ah! Have fun getting eaten at the bottom of this sea slowpoke. Looks like it's hugging you. I know. The monster won't be able to answer your questions. <laughs> it only has one thing in mind, and that's killing you. No! Aww. I want to try everything. I want to give it a hug! Please! Oh. oh! Fine. Fine. I'll do what I'm supposed to do. Nice trident. The trident is old and rusty, but still looks like it would make a formidable weapon. The trident is pointy! You better not touch it too much or you might get tetanus. Okay. Ah! Eat trident, fish face! <laughs> You did it! Eat trident fish face? 
need to work on your one-liners, mate. <coughs> what would you have said? Something like, see you later, punk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good luck <laughs> killing that thing. I wasn't looking forward to spending the rest of my holiday at the bottom of the sea. Now, shall we enjoy what's left of the week? Yeah, I could use some relaxation for a change. Great. The bar should still be open. How about we all get some beers? On me. That sounds like a great idea. Let's go. What? Did I miss a point? Crap. Aww. So all this time, the sea people were being blamed for the work of the first eddies? I guess I should stop listening to all those old stories and legends. I don't think you have to do that. After all, if I didn't listen to old stories and legends, I wouldn't be here right now. It's just a matter of getting the stories and legends right. Congratulations on the job well done, Mr. Jordan. Yes, you did good, kid. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thanks for all your help. I say we have a toast. To friends, Greece, and a paranormal free rest of your holiday. I'll drink to that. A well-deserved break for you three, surely. Will you be staying in Aliana this week, Professor? Alas, I wish I could spend more time with you, but unfortunately I must return to Oxford tomorrow. Well then, more drinks to celebrate Professor Sandman's safe journey home tomorrow. Where's the flower lady? I wish she were here. Excuse me, will you guys? I'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, uh, here we go! Nice view, isn't it? Hmm? Oh, yeah, it is. Is everything alright? Yeah, everything's fine. Are you sure? You seem lost in thought. Well, I was just thinking about this whole case. How it seems like it was all planned out, you know? This talk about prophecies and destiny, it got me thinking. What if all of this is out of my hands? What if I'm supposed to be doing something really important? And if I am supposed to be doing something important, how am I supposed to know what that thing is? I've got more questions than answers, and frankly, it scares the hell out of me. Well, if it's any consolation, I thought you were really brave throughout all of this. Thanks, Alice. Um... Yes? There's something I think I want to tell you, but I'm not sure how. There's something I think I want to tell you, too. She's in love with the professor. Oh. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Yay! Yay! Simon okay. wants to get in on it, too. That's well, it's about awkward. bloody time. Simon, if you say one word... Well, me? I wouldn't dream of saying I told you so. Anyway, your beers are getting warm, so if you love birds and want to come back, uh, so if uh, if you love birds want to come back to the celebration, I think I managed to convince Sambar to try some Uzo. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. Aww. Actually, I hate myself because I missed a point, and I can't remember what it is. I hate myself. I failed. No, yeah, I'll I've just actually uh, never play these games, but I kind of, I kind of wanted that because there's a lot of fun. You totally should. I've been telling you for no, ages to I'm, play them. I'm excited. I, I really, I really like to. Yeah, you should. The rain camp theme. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Okay, well, um, none of you guys. I, I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, I know what the point is. Her grabbing is to do this, but uh, no need. I'll just look up what it is and attach it to the end of this video. So, yeah. I want to know who wrote the siren song. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming we didn't pass it already. We oh, we did. Yeah. Whoops. So it looks like we'll have to find out about uh, the weird dreams in the next game, as well as how our relationship with Alice turns out. Hubba hubba. Oh yeah. And what sort of paranormal activity we'll have to solve next time.
Thank you for playing. Thank you for creating the game. Yay! Yay! It's awesome. It's fun. Yeah. Oh. Ah. I hate when it does that. I have a recommendation, and it's to go back to the main menu whenever you end your games, but that's that's just me. Um, anyway, I'll add the clip right now, but after that I will see you guys next time in Ben Jordan K7, what is it, The Cardinal Sins? Something like that. I'll see you then. Bye! Bye!